have to deal with on the roads in the backyard this weekend is rain. Mm, unfortunately, I've been telling people all week long that if you've got outdoor plans for Memorial Day weekend, you might want to have a backup plan. A solid plan B would be a very good idea for uh, the next several days because we've had isolated showers and thunderstorms kind of come together and turn into some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. And this is what we've got in Tuscaloosa right now. We're looking north from uh, DCH and we've got a big thunderstorm ongoing there. But temperatures actually hit uh, 90 degrees this afternoon, 92, I believe, was the temperature in Tuscaloosa before the rains came. But you see what the rain did to those temperatures, dropped them all the way down into the 70s. Storm Team Radar shows the strongest of the storms right now. Basically grouped right over Tuscaloosa, and the scan of the radar would show that mean-looking thunderstorm. But you've got a lot of lightning here. Oakman and Hillard, uh, this storm right near Samantha, there you go, right near Samantha and Wyndham Springs. It's moving to the north very slowly uh, as part of a... Uh, outflow boundary that collided with another area of, uh, of thunderstorms. So we've had a lot of those collisions going on today. But look at where we've seen the rain and where we have it. Numbers in the 80s and even 90s, 90 degrees in Hamilton. It was 89 degrees earlier in Jasper, but the rain cooled air down to the south. That's where all the rain has been basically today south of Interstate 20 and I-22. And that looks like that's where it's going to stay. But very warm temperatures where you haven't seen the rain today. All the showers fizzle out Friday once again. We will see another round. Showers, thunderstorms popping up during the afternoon. Very random in the formation. Not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to where they form, but a good, widely scattered uh, area of showers and thunderstorms for Friday. Then we turn our attention to Saturday. Saturday, we see enhanced rain chances because of a lot of tropical moisture that will be streaming in from the Gulf of Mexico, all due to an area of tropical weather that's not named yet. It's not a depression. It's not a tropical storm. It's just an area of interest with a very, very good chance, 90% chance of formation once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico. That's from the National Hurricane Center. We are looking at the possibility of it being a tropical depression or tropical storm by the time we get to late Saturday and into Sunday. Unfortunately, that means the beach forecast for this weekend is looking absolutely terrible. Really good chances of rain, numerous showers and thunderstorms, and flooding rain is possible. Inland, 6 to 10 inches, and a high rip current risk, too, through Memorial Day. We could also have some coastal flooding with storm surge if we do get a tropical storm or tropical depression in the Gulf of Mexico that impacts the Gulf Coast. 70 degrees tonight, fog developing, mild and humid. Showers end by around 10 o'clock or so. Then middle and upper 80s for afternoon highs tomorrow. More showers and storms, just like we've seen all this week. And then the weather aware days, Saturday, Sunday into Monday, Memorial Day. You've got a lot of folks outside. Please be careful. If you do have any outdoor plans, keep your eyes to the sky and stay weather aware. Sherry?